Scholarship can touch people in many different ways. Writing books, writing articles, but also teaching is very important that I've known all along. But I think the more recent revelation or, or realizations is that talking to the community, reaching out to them, uh, speaking, whether or not engaging in public events on campus or off campus, people are interested in what scholars, uh, professors have to say. As a teacher, I feel that I'm changing the world in very micro ways and I talk about late Ming society, social unease, money, violence, of sex, about passion, about all these sorts of things. I'm trying to frame it in terms of things like social history, but also very much about literary history and literary appreciation. Because a lot of my classes have to deal with that fundamental question of where, is, where do we draw the line between what is human and what is not, what is socially acceptable and what is not, I would like them to take away from the classes that question and continue to be aware of it and to be asking themselves both when they're reading literature, consuming popular culture, or in their real lives, where do we draw that line and why? Through study of Japanese language, I hope my students will enjoy communicating with people from different language backgrounds. For the people who want to study Japanese, I suggest them to find something that they will enjoy learning Japanese. For example, if you like watching anime, that is already a good start. In three months of taking Japanese language course, you will understand the anime without subtitle and you will find something interesting. I hope studying Chinese will help my students to live their life to its fullest. Chinese language can open the doors to the many splendors of Chinese culture. For those wanting to study Chinese, my tip would be to enjoy the whole learning process. It is important to have a positive attitude. I've taken it for granted all my life that stories are fundamental to the way we understand our lives and the way we create our identities. So now I guess what I'm trying to do is to make it clear to people who read my work what kinds of changes can happen, either for the negative or in the positive. Coming in as an outsider when I was, what, 17 or 18 to Chinese literature and culture, I hope that I'm what I'm giving to my students is that same sense of respect and wonder that I have every day for what I see in Chinese. What change would I like my work to make in the world? Um, in some ways, it's not, a, it's, it's not something that I alone can or would do. It's the idea that nations, national identities, so in many ways, the, sort of the core of how we make sense of ourselves is ultimately constructed. And if people can understand then that, then they would be able to put national identities, national interests in proper historical context. And that might bring peace to the world.